destination together Won't you set me free? I'll take a train, a plane, a big cruise ship It doesn't really matter to me Destination people always seem to find The magic and the mystery in this beautiful world Don't get left behind Welcome, everybody. I'm Tom Anderson. This is Webinar on Wednesday with Destinations Together. As always, a warm welcome to our Zoom listeners and Cruise Line executives that are tuning in. We have a packed agenda today in this, the second session of our Sustainable Tourism Webinar Series, co-hosted with the Global Sustainability Tourism Council. In the first session, Randy Durbin, CEO of GSTC, set the stage for this webinar series and underscored GSTC's mission. Rob Zeiger from Royal Caribbean, highlighted the sustainability-focused efforts being made by the line, and Uko Metzola demonstrated that CLIA is also laser-focused on sustainability. This all suggests that the cruise industry will be progressively more aggressive regarding their sustainable tourism agenda in the future shipboard operations and in the destinations around the world. So let's get started. Today's session is focused on the path tour operators can follow to efficiently obtain GSTC certification. Most importantly, much of the certification process can be accomplished virtually. So now, I mean now, I mean today is the time to get started. Responsible and sustainable tourism can be a driver for preservation of both natural resources and cultural heritage and serve as a pillar for sustainability. By obtaining GSTC certification, tour operators can do their part to ensure sustainable, responsible tourism in their destination. This creates a true win-win-win situation. Today's presentation is hosted by Destinations Together, which is an open platform of relevant information and collaborations to support the tourism industry. It is designed to help everyone connect, collaborate, and find solutions to bridge the gap and tell cruise ships and tourism return to your region. There is a lot to unpack in this tour operator focused session. I'll turn this over to Larry to share some important information and introduce our guest speakers for today's Destinations Together webinar on Wednesday. Larry? Hey, thanks, Tom. First, we would like to recognize our participants from January 27th webinar on sustainable tourism and the cruise industry. Randy Durbin, CEO of Global Sustainable Tourism Council, GSTC, Rob Seiger, Global Chief Communication Officer, Royal Caribbean Group, and Uko Metzola, Director General of Cruise Lines International CLIA Europe. All of our webinars are available to you free on our website, www.destinationstogether.com, since we first started back in April 2020. Please check them out and don't hesitate to socialize the website and our upcoming webinars. Everybody is welcome. Before we begin, let me remind you of a few important housekeeping items. We are recording this webinar and we'll upload it to our website in the next several days. There's a Q&A tab below on your screen. We look forward to getting your questions to pass on to our guests. We encourage you all to upvote on the questions listed in the Q&A to ensure we include them uh, in our most important ones. Please remember, we and our guests are only providing our opinions and possible sources for further information. Today marks the second of four series showcasing sustainable and global sustainable tourism, GST, as Tom mentioned. Please refer to our website for further details and upcoming webinars in this series. And of course, we will be sending out emails reminders, as well as posting it on social media. It is great to see individuals join us from around the globe. I and mean, I really appreciate it, and especially to those that have joined us for the first time. We know it is the subject matter and the guest speakers that make the difference. Please let us know if there is a subject you would like to specifically hear and learn about. Just email us. Today's webinar is about tour operator sustainability and GST certification with Travelite. Now, please join me as we provide a quick introduction. As tour operators, you too can make a real difference for your destination by starting the process of certification to the Global Sustainable Tourism Council standards. Now, Custer's general manager of Travel Life for Tour Operators will detail this Global Sustainable Tourism Council certification process. Now, 
We welcome you to the webinar today, and there are many on today that are looking forward to your review of the certification process. With that, I turn this webinar over to you. Thank you. Um, thank you, Tom and Larry. So my, my screen is visible now? Yes, it looks great. Okay, awesome. thank you. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, I'm Naut Kusters. I'm based in the Netherlands. It's very snowy outside nowadays. We, we have this uh, not a lot, so everybody's very happy. Uh, meanwhile, we are still in a lockdown. Um, I'm going to present uh, Travel Life and how you as a tour operator or cruise excursion provider can join and become sustainable, more sustainable, and get accreditation by Travel Life and the GSTC. Uh, the presentation will, I have 20 minutes, it will be about what Travel Life is, where we come from, how we were coming into existence, our three-step approach, so how you can enroll and finally get certified, uh, how it works for tour operators, what practically is expected from you from, from an implementation point of view and a management point of view. We look a little bit towards excursions and sustainability, the certification process, and finally, what are the next steps and how, as a company, you can engage with, uh, with Travel Life and with certification. Now, Travel Life has been uh, founded already in 2007, and that was in the frame of a European Union initiative. It was supported by the European Commission financially, but the initiative came actually from the travel associations, and specifically APTA, the British Travel Association, and the Dutch Travel Association. And they wanted to have a common system uh, for their tour operators to work in sustainability. That time, of course, hotel certification schemes were already in existence. They started already in the 1980s. But for the travel industry, tour operators excursion, there was no, no methodology. And actually, the methodology was developed by the Tour Operators Initiative for Sustainable Tourism Development. And that's the UNEP initiative from Paris. And they brought together the first 20 tour operators who were very active that time in sustainability and developed together with Leeds Met University, they developed a system for how to implement sustainability into a tour operator. And actually what is the responsibility of a tour operator? Uh, that time there was some misconceptions who said, okay, you can only be sustainable as a tour operator if all your suppliers are certified and that would, would be impossible. So we found a way in the middle uh, to make it very practical, achievable and realistic. So after this project, which, which was between 2004 and 2007, uh, we actually had two travel lives, travel lives for tour operators, which is managed by my organization. And we are a very small not-for-profit in the Netherlands, already active in sustainable, sustainability and tourism since the early 90s. And APTA, uh, it's of course the British Travel Association, <clears throat> leading association in Europe and even globally, and they run Travel Life for hotels, and we run Travel Life for tour operators. Uh, these are two separate organizations, so we have even two separate uh, uh, online systems. So membership is also separately. But both are working on the full set of sustainability. We really want to work with all companies, not only the big ones, but also the very small ones. And we want to do everything what is needed to help you through the process. So we have training tools, management tools, certification, and finally, we even provide you with marketing support and market access. Uh, it started with, uh, with APTA and the ANVR, and nowadays we have more than 40 associations globally who are supporting Travel Life and promoting Travel Life to their members. And you can see it's not only Europe, uh, we, we signed an agreement with Kato in Kenya, with ATA, the Travel Association in Thailand, that was already in, in 2010, Brastoa and uh, Pata in the Pacific Asian Travel Association, just to name a few. Um, meanwhile, we have 1,000 tour operators who join Travel Life. We had a very slow start. And I, I always say we double every year. And that was up to up to Corona came. But, but if you look now at the new, new memberships we get, it is, it is a little bit at the same at the same pace as, uh, as, as, as last year. Eh? We daily, we get new members. So, so we, it's, it's, it's really, I have the feeling that, that after this crisis is over, uh, sustainability will go on even, even faster than it did before. Our involvement in the cruise industry uh, started about three, four years ago when 
the first Royal Caribbean uh, approached us and said, we need, we need, a, we need a, a provider of sustainability and certification services. There was a kind of competition between Travelite and other certification schemes, and we, we won that competition um, because of our USPs, which I will explain later. And also later MSC joined this movement. We were in uh, to, to, to support travel life and certification among their uh, shore excursion providers. We were in discussion with other cruise lines just before Corona breakout. So I, I believe when, when, the, when the, 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 the cruise line sector is revolving again, uh, all the other tour operators, uh, the, all the other uh, cruise lines will, will also join and will actually ex start to expect from their cruise line uh, so shore excursion operators to, to become certified. Uh, meanwhile, we have uh, more than 120 shore excursion tour operators who joined Travel Life. About 2025 have already reached certifications, and others are still in the process to reach that level. Our step by step approach. So, if you become a member of Travel Life, you, we call you Travel Life Engaged, but that's just to be a member, to have access to our online tools and you also get a personal coach. So you start to work on implementing all the criteria. Uh, you cannot use the logo of Travel Life in that stage because that would be, would be greenwashing. We have no proof that you are complying to any of our criteria. Then you move to Travel Life Partner and Travel Life Partner is an online assessment. So we don't come into your office, but we assess the compliance to the criteria based on what you report to us based on your self-assessment. And that's evaluated by your coach. And once you comply to all the criteria, uh, you will get the Travel Life Partner logo. And that logo you can, of course, use in your, in your promotion. And the next step is Travel Life Certified. Uh, there are more criteria on the certificate or certified level. Uh, and you, you, you need, there will be an on site audit. So an auditor will actually visit your office for half a day or one day and check if everything is correct. They're not not going to check the documents because all the documents and information you have already uploaded in the system so that we have already checked beforehand but it's really uh, checking around talking with your staff members even talking with your suppliers those to, to see what you state you did is actually happening also in practice uh, we have a website and an online system which is quite sophisticated and it's even translated in about 15 20 languages uh, not everything is translated, but the main training courses and, this, and, the, and the, uh, the, the criteria are translated in all these languages. So even Spanish or even Russian or Arabic is possible. Um, if you become a member, you pay a one-time fee per year and everything is, 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 is included in that. We don't charge extra. There are no supply, surprises. You can have unlimited number of people joining. Uh, staff members joining the platform and following our trainings. And this is an online training video seminar from Chris Thompson, uh, which he provided in Croatia. We recorded it, so you can also follow that training. There are many online trainings. This one is for internal environmental management in your office. Uh, you can do the training, you, you can do the online exam and you get a certificate. And sustainability coordinators, they can uh, uh, also invite staff members of even, even suppliers to join our trainings. So that's the training. There is an exam, multiple choice exam, and then you get certificate. This is the certificate of Gert de Wolf. So a little bit of step back. Uh, what's the responsibility of a tour operator? And I spoke already about that, that, that it is, has been discussed in the early, uh, early 2000s. Um, and and people are, or companies are so often very scared and they will say, oh, it's not available in my country. Uh, uh, this is, this, you cannot compare it with Europe. But that's really about our certification system uh, that we only look in what is actually under the control of your management. Where is your responsibility? If you cannot solve a problem or if you cannot solve an issue, if something is not available in your country, if there is no certified paper in your country, then we do not expect you to comply to it. You just have to explain it, or oh, this, this, this is not in our country. Yeah. Another 
element is that it does not give you a real competitive disadvantage. If we have a criteria, and it would mean that you would really lose a lot of money about this because you have to implement it, you can tell us, sorry, but this is so expensive, we, we, we are not able to do it. And we will, we will, of course, we will take that, we will take a serious look into that if that is really serious, but then we can accept that. Yeah? It should be practical, achievable, locally available, and the supports to uh, uh, exist to really implement it. So we, we are delivering as Travel Life a lot of tools, which makes it easy for you to work with your suppliers. And our approach is if one can do it, all can do it. So if somebody uh, finds a new best practice, a new ID, uh, then we put that back into the criteria system and we expect that all the other companies will also join that, that best practice approach. So we are moving all together uh, towards uh, yeah, towards better sustainability of the whole whole travel sector. If you look at uh, the responsibilities of a tour operator or shore excursion tour operator, you have your office operations, that's labor conditions, environmental management, so that really happens in your office, and there you have a large responsibility because you're under control. You have your excursions, uh, you can operate those excursions yourself, that means you have more responsibility than if you buy those excursions or elements of those excursions from third party suppliers. Then you have a responsibility to ensure that those uh, suppliers are the most sustainable uh, available in your, in your destination. But of course, you also have to look at quality and price. So it's always a balancing act. Uh, then you have your customer. You cannot uh, yeah, force your customer to behave in a certain way, but you can advise them uh, and make them aware. Uh, so and then facilitate them. So there is a different responsibility towards your customers. And then your customers and excursions together, they have an impact on the destination and that's an indirect impact. So these different management fields or responsibilities, we grouped them into uh, chapters in our online toolbox and criteria system where you have to report. And here are the number of criteria which are an obligation for the different sections. And you see for Travel Life Partner, there are 74 criteria and Travel Life Certified, there are 135 criteria you have to comply to. This is sustainability management cycle. And that's uh, chapter one of our criteria uh, system. And that's, that's, that's just a, a general management cycle, huh? engaged baseline assessment, where are you now? Uh, sustainability policy, action plan, monitoring and reporting. So you're probably all aware of that. And we are in line with this uh, part of our standard with the ISO 14001 management system. Uh, next one is uh, excursions, <clears throat> which is for a shore excursion operator of cost key. And there we have transport, food and drinks, activities and guides. These are the elements of an excursion. And for each of those, we have really minimum criteria and we have certification criteria. If we speak about the minimum criteria, we expect you that you put these in your contracts with suppliers. Uh, uh, and if there is and, and the certification criteria you need to comply to if yourself are implementing or owning, for example, cars, then we can expect more than if you hire uh, transport from a third party. The same is for food and drinks activities and guides. If the guides are uh, working within your company, there are larger responsibilities than if you take a guide which is just hired on a case-to-case -case basis. If we look at uh, your office responsibilities, these are simple human rights like freedom of association, no forced labor, no discrimination, no child labor. I'm sure you're all comply to that, but we have them in our criteria system because these are international standards. Uh, this, is, this is how you treat your staff and this is really employed staff. And these are also international requirements from International Labor Association, for example. And most of these requirements are actually uh, part of international law or local law. Office environment, um, impact of your office might be limited compared to the excursions. Uh, tour operators don't have a lot of staff in the office, but still it's, it's important, maybe even from a symbolic point of view, that you are saving your energy in your office, uh, uh, don't have too much waste, 
have certified uh, uh, paper in your office uh, or certified coffee and tea even, yeah? Or local products as much as possible. So this is all about, about your office and what you, what you can do in your office. So that's an example of a tour operator in Thailand. It's Kiri Travel. They have a whole waste separation system set up. <clears throat> this is the online tool. Uh, once you become a member of Travel Life, or even if you engage with us uh, as part of the follow-up of this seminar, you can you get immediately access to our online uh, support system. And here you see back the, the 10 chapters. Uh, there is also accommodation here, but if you are a shore excursion provider, you probably don't have accommodation. So if criteria are not relevant for your type of company, you will not see those criteria. So we really try to make it as tailored as possible. So we don't bother you with criteria which are irrelevant. This is how one criteria looks like. Uh, this is criteria 1.1, and you need to, to, to appoint one sustainability coordinator Per, per company, and this person also is, is the, our contact person, and this person can register all other people uh, within the organization. And um, you see there is reporting, yes or no, if you comply or not, put the name of the sustainability coordinator and upload a job description. Uh, then there is guidance, remarks, action plan, best practices. So every criteria has a lot of information and support information which can, which can really help you to, 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 to implement. Uh, once you have completed that report, uh, one of our staff members, we call it coach, will check if the information you provided is correct. If not, you will get feedback and you can revise it and make it better until uh, the complete report is, 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 is as, we, as we would like to see it. Yeah? Uh, we have a separate tool to manage your excursions, uh, specifically if those excursions are external uh, suppliers. Uh, then you might have one car company or transport company for all your excursions. Then you fill in the information for, for this transport company and this will be linked to the different types of excursions. So that's a kind of a, an, an online tool helping you to work with all the excursions and also to register your suppliers and your suppliers will also have access to this, to this, to this tool. So they can also put online, they can fill in uh, how they comply to the standard. So the process towards certification, um, you become a member of Travel Life, or we call that engaged. Then you work on capacity building, so training uh, of yourself as a coordinator, but also staff. We want really that, that all your staff is involved and aware of what is their responsibility and also about the bigger picture. Uh, you start to implement and you work with our tools and box and reporting system. Um, that's all online. We do a desktop assessment. Uh, based on the desktop assessment, you can get Travel Life Partner, and then you move forward to Travel Life Certified. We have an on site audit then, and the auditor will be selected by us and um, yeah, we'll come to your destination and, and check, check out the situation. And then there will be, of course, an award and certification. This is the award of TUI Travel in 2014 by Mr. Talib Rifai. That time he was the Secretary General of the UN WTO. This was on the world travel market. So how you can um, engage. Um, we have a special package for those who attend the seminar now. And uh, this we do also because of the one problematic situation around uh, COVID-19. Uh, so we would <clears throat> really not lose this opportunity to, to move forward and let's call it building back better. Probably many tour operators have now also time to work on it. Uh, others have no time at all because they lost all their staff, but those who have the time and the interest, they can join now. And we, 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 we provide you free access in 2021 to all our training tools and our online planning and reporting tool. Yeah. Uh, we also provide for those who join, we provide two online training seminars and then we really go very deep into each criteria. Uh, 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 so there is no time for that now, but it will really uh, learn you a lot about how actually sustainability works in practice. So if you join uh, after the seminar, you can, you can profit from that, from that package. Yeah? 
Um, in addition, you can decide you can decide at any time uh, to become a member of Travel Life, and we provide you additional services. Um, and the most important is that you will get a dedicated personal coach from Travel Life who will help you through the process. You can approach that person anytime. And uh, the person will also review your report and give feedback. And you can reach Travel Life Partner. You cannot reach that with a free package. A free package gives you only access to our tools so that you can already start with working towards sustainability. So pricing, very important, of course. Um, we have a membership fee, which is the engagement fee and the Travel Life Partner fee. So that's one fee and that's a yearly fee. Uh, and that depends on the number of full-time, full-time equivalent, equivalent staff members. So if you have less than 25 staff members, it's $240 a year and 360 and 480 if you have more than 100 staff members. Now we will do a reduction of 50% for this year. So it's a promotional package. If you join now, you pay only the half of the price which you would pay normally. And that's for this year and next year, uh, you would pay then, uh, hopefully if the, if the whole crisis is over, you will pay them the full amount. Yeah? Um, how much you are going to pay if you become, become certified? Um, if you so you pay this engagement fee up till the moment you have the audit once you are certified and once you kick off the audit then once you start the process to become certified you pay per year an annual fee which also depends on the number of staff members and you can read uh, how much that is um, and that fee includes uh, the cost of the auditor so that's the the fee we have to pay to the auditor it is exclusive of the travel cost of the auditor. Uh, however, we try always to combine auditors uh, to a certain destination so that the travel cost can be shared with other tour operators and other excursion providers. And also we have a network of more than 50, 60 auditors around the globe. So we try to have auditors in all countries or, or, or nearby each country. So oh, to conclude a bit, Travel Life's unique selling points. Uh, we are supported by the global travel industry. Uh, we are accessible for all types of companies, small companies, large companies, multilingual. We have an extensive and growing training platform with, for which we do not charge an extra fee. We have an online support system, suppliers, management tools. If you are a company with more in more countries, we also have group management tools. This is for group companies which have more offices. Uh, we have a clear and affordable pricing structure, uh, extensive global auditor pool and market access support. Next steps, uh, I, I spoke already about it. So indicate your interest to destinations together. Uh, and uh, you benefit from our free promotional offers we will offer and we will approach you as, uh, as after this seminar, yeah, one by one, and we will inform you what are the next steps. So thank you very much for your attention and I'm looking forward to any questions. Now that was awesome, incredible. I, I really provided an excellent and detailed overview of the GSTC process with Travel Life, uh, plus the free access and the training seminars uh, as well. Uh, before we get into questions though now, what we're going to do is uh, we have the three tour operators from around the world uh, to share their experience and, and benefits of becoming uh, GSTC certified uh, through Travel Life. So the first up is, uh, is Gert de Wolf of Buck de Buck Travel in Belgium. Uh, de Buck Travel was an early adapter. In fact, when I was at Royal Caribbean, Gert and his team at de Buck Travel uh, was the first tour operator to, to achieve GSTC certification. Gert, uh, you can take it away. Thank you, Tom. So my name is uh, Gert de Wolf. I'm CEO at the Buck Agency. We are a Belgian tour operator founded in 50, 1953. And our mission is made to move you, which means the fact that we create tailor-made experiences to our guests. We have now uh, six uh, departments and we are doing both outbound as well as inbound <coughs> travel. Uh, and our shore excursions department is part of the DMC, 
Uh, we are the leading choice cursors tour operator in the Benelux. We operate in Belgium and the Netherlands, and also now in a few ports in Northern France. In general, we operate around 350 cruise calls for ocean ships a year, and we're also involved in river cruising. Now, uh, our travel life certification, uh, the reason came by, like Tom said, a request by Royal Caribbean in March 2016. And I must say that our management was immediately uh, enthusiastic about this request because sustainability was already one of the uh, values of our companies. So the thing was now which uh, certification we had to choose. And finally, we choose for Travel Life for two reasons uh, and not already explained well. And this was especially the easy online tool and also that a personal assistant was appointed to our company. So she helped us through the whole process, which helped us a lot. So finally, by December 2016, we were the Travel Life certified. And as Tom said, we were the first Travel Life certified your excursion tour operator in the world. Uh, a lesson we learned was always do this process top down. So we were so enthusiastic that we involved the whole team to get started with this process. And we had to restart to do everything again after one month because it was like a mess in the organization. So me as a sustainable manager, uh, I had to structure it well and do it really top down to come to the end of the process. So the process itself took us three months full-time equivalents, but I'm sure if you do it the right way first, top down, you will do it in less than uh, three months to get certified, eh? not part of it certified. Now, I think what you uh, want to know most, I think, is what are now for us as a tour operator, the benefits being Travel Life certified. And first of all, I can say that the reputation to our, towards our clients has increased because being Travel Life certified these days really is a quality label. Uh, quality and sustainability goes hand in hand. It's not only a reputation increase towards our clients, it's also towards all stakeholders in the cruise tourism. You see here a picture of Bruges uh, in Belgium uh, before Corona, of course. So one of the issues, the main issues was over tourism, mass tourism, and being a tour operator for cruise ships, of course, doesn't place you always in the best position to get in contact with the city when it goes about over tourism and mass tourism. And I must say, uh, being now Travel Life certified, it increased our, or it gives us a better position our, and our better relationship with the city to discuss things like how can we manage this over tourism when a cruise ship comes into port. It gives us also more uh, conscious uh, choice of our suppliers. Uh, Jan de Witt, like you see in the picture, is our best coach supplier in the Netherlands and Amsterdam. Uh, we have chosen them before based on, on, on quality and pricing. Uh, and I must say, like I said, quality goes hand in hand with uh, sustainability. Uh, it was very nice for us to see that in 2019, uh, Jan de Witt, they introduced new fuel, HVO, which in fact achieves them a 90% CO2 reduction instead of using uh, normal fuel. So they are really also pioneers in sustainability. It also helped us in recruiting motivated staff. Uh, sometimes it's not that easy to find motivated staff. Well, I must say that young people now, they're looking for a meaningful, meaningful job and company. And when we got in contact with them, they said one of the reasons why they have chosen our company to work with the back was because we were into sustainability and they saw it because we were Travel Life certified. And on the right side, you see our beautiful and enthusiastic motivated staff. I said uh, the process of certification from us went from top to down, but once we now, we got a lot of participation from all staff members. And one of the examples of activities that we did was a beach clean in Zeebrugge. And Zeebrugge is our most important uh, cruise port. So it was around Christmas. It was a funny day. We, we, we were all involved. And even we uh, made a movie of that, a little, a little film. We put some Christmas music on it. We did send it to our clients and suppliers. And we really got great responses from that. So um, it was very nice. 
We organize, like I said, uh, nice experiences for our clients, but we realize also that not all of us are that lucky. So a good uh, idea from one of our staff members was to organize a weekend for young adults suffering from cancer. And this is already the third time that we do this. We organize a weekend at an at a amusement park, a theme park. And it's something both these young adults as our staff are always looking for. And it's like a thrilling moment, really, that uh, keeps in your memory for a long time. We also plant a tree for every guest who books a flight with our company. And a part of that, we do a lot of things to improve uh, the sustainability in our company and activities that we do. Now, in general, uh, we don't know or we don't feel that uh, being Travel Eye certified creates more clients on a short term because clients really do not choose us because we organize uh, su uh, sustainable excursions or sustainable tours. They choose us because we create for them uh, tailor-made uh, unique experiences. But what they expect from us is that we create these experiences within a sustainable environment that we do it sustainable. So I think, uh, and I always compare it with a restaurant. Eh? If you look 15 years ago, sustainability was maybe not an issue. If you go now to a restaurant, what you expect on your plate, the food is coming from a sustainable origin, the meat, the, the, the fish and the vegetables. Eh? And um, as well as 15 years ago, it was hard to find vegetarian food. And now the food, let's say, on each restaurant on the menu, there is a choice of vegetarian food. And I think the same is what's happening now also in the tourism industry is as a tour operator, your clients, they expect from you a sustainable way to organize the tourists or the experience that you do for them. So this is very short in general, the things that we do and the experience that we have from uh, uh, being Travel Life certified. If you have any questions, you can always contact us. Uh, I think the details, you will find them also on the Destinations Together website. So thank you very much. Thank you, Gert. That was excellent. Quality and sustainability go hand in hand. I love that. I think it's a very forward looking uh, perspective. Uh, you framed up the certification benefits very nicely and, and well done to, to you and your team. Uh, our next speaker is Trino Molina of Aviamar located on the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. And he and his team saw the business value in GSTC certification. And his, in his very large operation, Trino had to scale up, but the journey and the final results are impressive and are driving value. Trino? Thank you, Tom. Thank you, um, thank you all for uh, uh, tuning today to our presentation. It's an incredible opportunity and we really, really appreciate uh, Destinations Together to put us together to share these experiences and to see how we can, um, as a big community around the world, uh, we, can get, uh, we can get together and we can share and we can improve. You know? So this is what we have done in Abiumar. Uh, this is a family company started by my grandfather and my, uh, par and my father 50 years ago. And so we were in the path uh, to get sustainability and to, but we didn't know how to do it. We didn't know, we, we have some initiatives uh, time to time, but we didn't have a, a correct uh, methodology to do this. So what we have found after a Royal Caribbean request uh, uh, we found that Travel Life will give us that methodology, will give us that uh, simple tools to follow and to have a complete chain, a complete system that will work and enforce itself in order to achieve sustainability. So um, with my team, I managed to, uh, to, to involve them all of them, and they really, at the beginning, they really hook up into the idea, no? We mainly work in Yucatan, Cozumel, Costa Maya, Playa del Carmen, the Mayan Riviera, uh, Progreso. So this is, uh, for us, was really a cultural change. Uh, we started, our first ideas were in 2009, uh, from then, we skip almost 10 years, uh, we found uh, travel life with the three stages. You know, stage one, engage, as Naud was saying, stage two, the partnership, and we complete that in 2018, at the end of 2018. 
And in 2018 as well, we found a company, a local company called Ecotech. The, that company, uh, we hired them as a coach to train us in order how to achieve uh, the travel life stages. Uh, it was so much information at the beginning with different activities in different uh, cities and ports that we didn't know how to uh, really, uh, we were doing our, our best and we were following travel life, but we didn't need a coach. We need a coach to tell us every week, have we achieved or not, uh, we do the goals, the tools and everything. So that coach was Ecotech, was a company, uh, helped us a lot. So we make a lot of changes in our company uh, during 2019 and in 2020, uh, last year, at the beginning, in January, we, get, uh, we got our certification. Our core changes were here. Uh, the asset designation, the creation of sustainability coordinators, as Nav was saying, you have to have one, one person of the team who will take a full-time job. So we hire somebody with the uh, correct skills to be the coordinator among all of us. And then the partnership we did with a company uh, as a coach. Uh, and then uh, a key is the leadership. You know? So we even create a committee, a sustainability committee inside our company to make sure that uh, that committee will uh, oversee all the strategic um, initiative we were having across the company. And communication. From day one, we start communicating all our employees through different forms that uh, what are our first uh, wins, uh, the first things that we were achieving, and that was encouraging. Um, training is at core. Uh, I must say uh, the directors from the company were involved in this committee and this committee were uh, having meetings every week to make sure we're achieving uh, goals in each of our tours in different uh, ports. Uh, here is more training. We did see all of our staff, of course, before COVID doing different trainings, um, just the staff, supervisor, teams, everybody. And what it was very good about this is that they, they get all involved and they were giving us tons of ideas of how to uh, be more sustainable in our operations, in our transportation, in our meals, in, in the way we design the tour. We, in this. So this came from so many, so many rich ideas that it was hard to choose which one to start, you know? So that's why this committee was a, a, every time, you know, making sure that uh, we get all involved. Um, here's the staff, uh, the partnership we, we have, reforestation, as, as uh, my, my colleague was saying, it, it's key to us. So the dream planning activities with the staff and the families. So you see the kids there, no? They wanna bring the families. They wanna, they feel so motivated that they wanna, they wanna do all this, not just because this company is asking me for, because it also is good for the planet. And they wanna involve their families, you no? Know? Uh, you got a beach, beach cleaning, we do that every, every month. Um, well, some of our key achievements here, and uh, you will see, and this is happened just in, in one year, 2019. This is the gallons of water we save as we rethink the rain, you know? So collecting rainwater has been one of our flag projects on sustainability journey. We also collect this amount of plastic caps uh, in order to do an alliance with a, with a children's institution you know, of, of cancer. By donating this, it turned out to support uh, a cancer for children. So we were involved in the community. Immediately also the community saw what we were doing and they were uh, helping us to achieve all these goals. No? Here is our volunteer uh, program for, for beach cleaning. This is the amount of solid waste we recycle in all our facilities. This is the plastic recycle. So we measure everything. This committee measures everything, you know, and, and we put from different aspects of the company or different divisions inside the company, 
we put uh, we put them together in a little race to see which can collect more. Oh, and this was a game, and this was part of the integration of the company, as well as we were, you know, really trying to collect as recycle as much as we can. You know, here you can see our um, travel life certification, which is great. Um, I wanted to show, I wanted to share with all of you. Um, we made a video. We made a video out of this because uh, we feel so proud of we, what we were doing and we were achieving, you know? So um, we have in the company more than 80 ATVs and these ATVs, uh, we need to clean them, wash them uh, every tour because they got to the mud and to the off terrain. And we need to wash the ATVs, you know? And for that, in this remote location, we normally, uh, we have to buy uh, water to bring it in, in trucks to this location so we can clean the, and wash the, the ATVs. But um, the team got very creative and we found ways to harvest the water. And uh, um, we made a video out of this. Normally, uh, what we, we were spending uh, X amount of, of, of money every year to bring the, to buy the water and to transport the water to our location. And by harvesting the water and collecting the water from the rain, uh, we were able to uh, complete the purpose, which, which is uh, washing the ATVs. Um, but also we were saving money. Um, we didn't do it for saving the money. We were doing because we need to, you know, collect the water. We have a cultural change. Everything in Naviomar was different now. Uh, we were thinking in different avenues, in different options, how to collect water, to how to recycle and everything. Uh, but at the end, it happened to be that we saved money as well. So um, this was an encouraged activity that we were uh, doing that helped us to move forward and do more activities. And the team was very much engaged and very much happy because we were uh, doing what we like to do tours when we enjoy being uh, tour guides. But on the other hand, we were doing good for our communities and good for the planet. So, so, so it feels good. It really feels good. It's not that we are doing well, it's that it feels good that you're com you are contributing to this. And, and Travel Life was key for this because as I was mentioned before, it showed us all this, uh, all this methodology step by step I you saw in the present uh, presentation, in the past presentations, the screenshots of, of how this is developed, it's very easy to comply, but you have to commit. And that's the difference. And I really invite you all, if you have the time now, perhaps this coronavirus has given us this time to really think about uh, going all green in this, in this sense, no? And really do this cultural change because you have, we have the time now. Uh, we have the time to do it. Um, um, perhaps you will get the temptation uh, that, okay, we're having a, a, it's not the right time to do it. But really for the planet, this is the right time. This is what we need to do. And there we can have an intersection between tourism and, and sustainability. And um, there are a lot of options and there are a lot of examples that this can be done. So I really encourage you to do this and I uh, finish my presentation with a video. Trade, trade on? Yes. Uh, because we're having problems with the video, uh, maybe we can post it to the website so people can see it. And then, because uh, we're running a little tight on time, I wanna uh, make sure Emma gets a chance uh, to speak as well. Um, and it's really interesting that you note that, the, that this sustainability focus really drove a change in your business culture. And I just love seeing all the new initiatives that you were really an outcome of the uh, certification process. Well done to you and, and your team. Our final speaker today um, is Emma Bell of ID Tours in New Zealand. And uh, believe it or not, Emma is live from New Zealand. It's very, very early in the morning in New Zealand. And um, Emma and the team at ID Tours actually accomplished their GSTC certification during the pandemic. It's never been done before. So she'll explain how she and her team were able to accomplish this vertical, uh, virtual certification and why you should start your GST certification 
today. Emma? Good morning. Uh, I So my name's Emma and I'm from ID New Zealand and we are an inbound tour operator based in New Zealand. Uh, we have three very different divisions. We're a ground handler for cruise shore excursions. Uh, we also look after high-end incentive programs and also bespoke itineraries for independent travellers. Uh, so I just wanted to talk to you this morning about the experience that we had in obtaining our GSTC certification through Travel Life. Uh, so we did this last year during a global pandemic and we had um, incredible support from our Travel Life mentor and coach. Um, we were the first company uh, to achieve this in the Pacific region. And also most importantly right now, we were the first company to achieve this virtually as well. Um, and at that time it was new territory for us all to be doing that uh, final process and audit virtually. Um, because of this, uh, normally our auditor would have come from Sydney and done a full face-to-face -face audit within our office. Um, because of the fact that our borders were closed at the time, uh, we were working with different time zones with our Travel Life mentor and coach who was based in the Netherlands. Uh, so we were dealing with different time zones and because of that, we were in frequent Zoom meetings um, with Marjorie, who's our, our mentor. Um, so we had done our online assessment before COVID and then uh, right when we were about to do our audit, the initial submission, we had uh, submitted that and then New Zealand went into a full lockdown. Uh, so we were all working from home, our entire team at that time. Once our lockdown levels had lifted, we were able to go back into our office and were able to complete the virtual walkthrough walk our office. Uh, and complete that final section of the audit. Throughout the whole process, so even prior to the audit, we were using the Travel Life system uh, quite in depth. The training tools that now had described um, were um, incredibly helpful and we used uh, both the guidance and best practice tabs. Um, they provide you with examples and case studies from other companies and other countries around the world. Um, we also interacted with our, our coach throughout the process as well. The remarks tab was a way that really assisted us, especially with the different time zones. We were able to request feedback on certain uh, sections and also to receive advice from our mentor. Uh, so she may have asked us to provide um, um, examples to what we had spoken about or to attach supporting documents or uh, for example, to elaborate on certain answers that we had. So we were constantly interacting with our mentor throughout that whole process. Um, in regards to ID New Zealand, our, our team, our, our whole team is very engaged and aware of our sustainability mission and policies. And at that time of the audit, there was nearly a third of our team that was interviewed by Travel Life um, for our audit process. And that was across all three of our divisions. So cruise incentives and also the independent travel. <clears throat> uh, so our mission, ID New Zealand, is to drive sustainability through the New Zealand tourism supply chain. We do this by ensuring that sustainability is core to our procurement process. And of course, uh, given the global nature of an inbound tour operator, we also obviously engage with numerous stakeholders, both within New Zealand and also key partners all around the globe. Because of this, we aim to conduct ourselves in a way that supports long-term sustainability. So we uh, aim to minimize negative effects and maximize positive impacts on both the natural and social environment. Uh, some examples of what ID New Zealand has been involved with <clears throat> during, uh, so since we've received our certification last year, we have been involved in uh, working very closely with cruise lines in regards to developing new shore excursions and touring concepts. Um, <clears throat> a few examples of these are the local partnerships program, positive impacts, and also Go Green. Uh, these are all unique concepts of touring, which are educational. <clears throat> they also support local communities and raise awareness on sustainability, both culturally and environmentally. <clears throat> 
These tours can open hearts and minds and give us all a broader understanding of the world. Uh, the tours aim to contribute positively to our communities, to teach and inspire guests and to make a long-term difference. And I'll just finish here with uh, the Tiaki Promises, which is a concept in New Zealand. Tiaki means to care for people and place. And we've proudly signed the Tiaki Promise and encourage our wider networks and guests to do the same. Um, we do this by promising to tread lightly and travel with care, consideration and respect, to travel with an open heart and mind. And we're at ID New Zealand, we are extremely aware of our responsibility to both our guests and also to uh, New Zealand, the land that we love. And by our, our ongoing commitment to the Tiaki Promise, our guests join us as guardians of New Zealand to protect our people and preserve our environment for all to enjoy now and for future generations. Thank you. Emma, that was awesome. I love the Tiaki Promise and your initiative to develop new tours and efforts overall raise awareness of sustainable tourism. Uh, no, no doubt that New Zealand has had its own uh, special challenges in, in the world of, of cruise and cruise tourism. Great effort by you and your team and, th and thank you for speaking today. We're, we're very tight on time. I'd, I'd love to get to um, a, a few, a few questions, if possible, and um, I'm going to launch the poll while you get into the question. Okay. Okay. I, if they would uh, upvote. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm sure. I'm sure we won't be able to uh, cover all the questions because we have quite a few. But we'll try to get to a few while we still have. Uh, we still have a lot of people on, and want to try to try to get get to it as quickly as we can. Uh, the first one probably is for now. Uh, how long does it take to get engaged? and partner certificate. Uh, yes, to get engaged uh, takes takes one minute. You just have to become a member of Travel Life or to uh, use up our promotional package. So then you are engaged. <clears throat> and to get certified or partner really depends on how committed you are. Of course, larger companies, it's, it's not so easy because you need to get all your staff and your operations to be involved and, and, and sometimes changed. Um, but we have companies who reach it in two, three, four months and others take two, three, four years. Yeah. So it really, it really depends on, on your commitment. Um, everybody can do it. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's. Well, it's... Taurus. Pardon? I, I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, no, no, it's, so it, it's, yeah, it's, diff it's a difficult, difficult to say, but it depends on your commitment. If you really, if you really want to put time into it, uh, it can, can be done quite, quite quickly. Yeah. Okay, then uh, this one's also for now. Um, asking for clarification with regards to the uh, the special offer today in association with with our uh, efforts through this uh, <coughs> series. Pardon? Uh, to to clarify the uh, the special offer. Uh, yeah. So the special offer is this is to become engaged with Travel Life, but it's. It gives you access to the online platform, to the training. Uh, you get a manual how to go online. You get a welcome pack. Uh, so you can start to work on, uh, on reporting. We will give you a training seminar. So it's a training seminar like today for all the companies who are joining up. Um, but, but normally, if you would like to reach Travel Life Partner, somebody, and it's our coach from our office, has to review your report and give you feedback. There are mostly... Often there are several feedback rounds. Yeah, it's never perfect from the beginning. So you will get feedback where 60% has been approved, but 40% still needs some improvement from your side. So that's that's our several rounds of feedback. That you need to become a real payable member. So that's the for if you are a small company, I think most of you are less than 25 staff members, you pay $120 for this year. Yeah. So you get a personal coach for that. So it's your choice. You can either go for the completely free package and uh, explore our website, explore the packages, uh, the, the criteria and start to work yourself. Uh, or you can uh, uh, yeah, get, a, get a coach if you wish at any time. Excellent. Um, we're, we are, this is from Lynn, we are, we are travel life partners, but have lost a lot of staff due to COVID. So, uh, have been slow to continue with the certification. How long can we remain partnered before it runs out and before we need to apply for certification? And then maybe if you could talk to 
recertification as well. Yeah. Now the partner the partner uh, award is valid for two years, and after two years you have to update this partner award. So you have to update all the information in the online system. That doesn't mean you have to put it all again. Huh? It's it's a more easy process because you only have to update it. So you need to add what has been changed in your companies: more staff, less staff, etc. Uh, then again, your coach will review the report and your Travel Life Partner Award will be, uh, will be prolonged. Uh, this can go on forever. Some companies are really happy with Travel Life Partner and they, have, they don't feel the need to become certified. It's really your choice. Uh, anytime you can, of course, choose to go certified. Even you can, can go directly for certification and, 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 and forget about the partner level. You go directly to the certified criteria and move to that, that stage. It's, it's really your choice uh, how fast you want to move. Okay, and then I, I think we'll just do one last really quick question from Erica. Um, to, to get into the first step, to become engaged, uh, what kind of documents do we need to provide or is it just a, a simple uh, a registration? It's a simple registration. Uh, actually, we only need the, the name of your company, the country and an email address and a contact person. Uh, you will sign up, you will have to approve our general conditions, which is about privacy and, 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 and general issues, uh, normally like, like any company, uh, any online system. So really try to work uh, very easy. And later, only at the certified level, we, we're going to ask all kinds of legal documents from your organization. So we are trying to make it as easy as, and accessible as possible. Okay, and then just one last last uh, uh, quick question. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as, as Emma was pointing out, uh, the vast majority of this can can be done even during the pandemic. So the pandemic shouldn't be an excuse to start. As a matter of fact, the pandemic should be um, uh, the motivation to start and and to get engaged. Correct. Yeah, that, that's correct. And um, you just described the situation in your company as it is now. Uh, or as it will be, uh, or as it was in the past. So, so or if, if you plan to do it in the future, uh, of course, there are no excursions at this moment, but, but you write us under which conditions you will implement those excursions. So you're going to implement those excursions. Okay, back over to you, Larry. Thanks, Tom. And again, now, Gert, Emma and Trino, fantastic job. We really appreciate you uh, sharing it. We do have quite a few questions, as Tom said. Um, still, you know, available that need have to be answered. We'll get them out to the team and get some answers back to those that did ask. So again, thank you very much. Um, our next webinar will be March 3rd at 10 a.m. Miami time featuring destination stewardship and sustainability. Um, and again, we appreciate those from basically around the globe joining us today. So we want to thank all of our listeners and ask you for your continued support. Be strong, be safe, and be healthy. Tom? And I, I just really want to thank everyone for listening in. And of course, our, our speakers from around the globe, awesome job today. I think you covered a mountain of material. It was very nicely and clearly laid out. And, and I, I hope the listen, listeners uh, uh, enjoyed it. And, and I think they probably learned a lot. So thank, thank you all very, very, very much. Appreciate it. Behind.